Good afternoon, everyone. For my week seven submission, I decided to do the video submission for several reasons. Um, the main thing is I had never done a submission before and I thought it would be beneficial for me because I am assuming at some point further down my academic career, I'll have to do one of these and hopefully this will make me better uh, for when that happens in the future. When you look at what Confucius said when he had said, choose a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life, I think I found that job 24 years ago. And what I'll do, I'll give a, a brief background of what I did and how I got to where I think I am very beneficial and I fulfill the needs of my Clifton strengths and my Clifton notes. Um, out of high school in 1988, I had no intention of going to college. I came from a lower middle class family that you had to work to have things and I needed transportation so I went to work. Um, one year went by, two years went by, three years went by, and I kept feeling that yearning in my heart and my spirit that maybe there was something more. There was more to life than just making money. So at the end of my four years, I decided to go back to school. So in 1992, I enrolled in our local community college, and, and quite honestly, I probably enrolled for the wrong reasons. I wanted to make friends, I, I wanted to fit in, but I was older than a lot of the people that were going to school there. I had had some of those life experiences. So, so maybe I had, I kept thinking that I had some, some insight that they didn't have. So flash forward to two years down the road, the end of my career at the community college, I enrolled at the University of Arkansas. And being from that lower middle class, I needed to get a job. So I, I, I was fortunate enough to get a job with the company I work for now, and I've been here 24 years. Now, that job 24 years ago did not start out the way it is today. Yeah, I started out on the bottom, but, but with each, each passing year, I had the availability to move up. And, and, and quite honestly, school got, out of my, got in my rearview mirror. Uh, the more money I made, the more I wanted to work. The more I worked, the less I could concentrate on school. So I lost focus there. Um, and when you look at some of the wording in our book, you know, the job needs to be a fit. It needs to bring you deep gladness, uh, put you into an environment that you can flourish. That happened to me, fortunately, at a young age. Um, as I said earlier, I've been here 24 years. And up on the board, I wrote my my Clifton strengths, and the number one strength for me is restorative. And, and I personally think that what I do today is a perfect fit for that. I, I never knew what the name of that strength was until I until I took our Clifton strength test. And once I took that test, it all became crystal clear for me. I was exactly where I should be in my life. I had been, I was fortunate enough to get put into a position to grow my strengths, to, to learn what I was good at, and be surrounded by people that wanted me to be better. My parents at a young age for me put that inside of me that you need to help people to be successful. Your success should hinge on other success. And, and I tried to use that and instill that with everyone that I come into contact with. And if you go to chapter 10 of our book, and I'll re I want to read this and then I'll close out. On page 273, Applying Restorative Talents in Careers. One of the things listed here is environments in which you are called upon to diagnose problems and design solutions. That is exactly what I've been allowed to do for the last 24 years. Um, the book has been so beneficial for me. It's, a, it's opened my eyes to some of the things that I need to work on. But more importantly, it, it has allowed me the ability to see what I'm good at. And hopefully in the future, I'll be put into more situations that I can help others and to use my strength for their success. Thanks, and thanks for allowing me to post.